Today we'll be discussing features of a drainage basin as well as surface runoff and groundwater. Features of a drainage basin. Now in this picture, the black outline as well as everything inside it is known as a drainage basin. So a drainage basin is a total area that is drained by a river and its tributaries. The catchment area is where the rain falls and is caught by the drainage basin. So the catchment area can be anywhere. It's normally higher up near the source or where the tributaries form, but it can be anywhere. It is just the area where the rain water is caught by the drainage basin. The river system is the main river and all its tributaries. So in this picture, it is the blue lines. Now the watershed is a high-lying area separating two drainage basins. The watershed determines into which drainage basin the water is going to flow. So if rain falls on the watershed, remember, water cannot flow up a hill, so it flows down a hill. Therefore, that is why the watershed determines into which drainage basin the water is going to flow. And in this picture, it is the black outline that you can see. Now a tributary, a small stream that flows into a larger river or the main river. A river mouth, a place where the river ends. It can either be a sea or a lake. The source, it is the place where the river begins. Now remember, the source will always be higher up than the river mouth. This is because all rivers flow down slope. They cannot flow up a slope. So the source will always be higher than the river mouth. Confluence, the point where two rivers join. Interfluve, the high-lying areas between two river valleys, and it's also called a spur. In this picture, it is the brown triangles that you can see. Surface runoff and groundwater. This picture might look familiar because it is very similar to the water cycle. In a drainage basin, rainfall is the main source of water in the drainage basin. Surface runoff is the water that flows over the surface of the ground. If you don't remember why it runs over the surface of the ground and doesn't infiltrate, please watch the video about factors of infiltration. Infiltration is the downwards movement of water through the soil and the pores of the rock. The water table is the upper level of the saturated zone. Now remember, the saturated zone is the part of the soil or rocks where all the pores and spaces have already been filled with water. The water table rises with heavy rain. When it intersects the bottom of a river channel, it is known as base flow. Direct runoff is water flowing over the surface of the land into rivers. And indirect runoff is water that's already in the soil that is fed into rivers. The line of the water table is usually a few meters below the surface. It generally follows the shape of the land. Groundwater is the water located under the water table. It is found in the pores and cracks of rocks. Springs are formed when the water table intersects the earth's surface on the side of a hill. Aquifers are, rock, are a rock layer that allows water to infiltrate. Aquacludes are rock layers that do not allow water to infiltrate.